Good morning from the kitchen folks. Today I'm going to be talking about grain. So this comes from the wort which is the mash liquid that you're making beer from. If you've put hops in it forget this because it's disgusting to eat. Just use it on your garden as fertiliser, not even the birds will eat it. So I'm not using any measurement as such, I've just got my spoon. And I'm just going to put some of the wet grain into this bowl. Next goes some plain flour. I'm not measuring, I'm just going to pour it in. And then using the handle of a wooden spoon for ease, I'm just going to mix that into the grain. And I'm looking for big crumbly lumps. That's my technical term. So that's what I've ended up with. So I've got some marge which I'm going to add, but before I do that, I'm just going to add a few dried Italian mixed herbs. Chuck a bit of that in. A little bit of salt. Again, just give it a shake. And a little bit of ground black pepper. Again, just shake a bit of that in. And then finally, a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Why not? It brings the flavour out actually, and a lot of good savoury food. A little bit of sugar goes a long way. I'm just going to give it a stir in. Okay, so this is just standard margarine, baking margarine, whatever kind of margarine you want to use. I'm not measuring it. I'm doing it by sight. You can get away with using less than you normally would if you were making a pastry recipe because the grain is already quite moist and you've got to mix this together into a dough. I need both hands to do it. So basically this is what I'm doing. Okay, I'm doing it one-handed now, showing off. Now if your mixture's too sticky, like mine was too sticky, just add a bit more flour and just keep going with the flour until it feels nice and not just too sticky. When it's kind of comfortable without it sticking too much to your hands you know you're in a good position with it. So I'm just working it round in the bowl. So there's the net result. Looks nice. I can do lots of things with this and indeed I'm going to make a couple of different things. So all I'm going to do for now is press it into this bowl, like so, pop a lid on it, and this is going to go into the fridge for an hour or so just to cool it down and to sort of solidify the uh, marge that's gone into it. Right, I'm ready to use the pastry now, so let's get on with it. Next, one white onion, one red onion, one red capsicum pepper, chopped. And into the frying pan they go with a little bit of olive oil. Time to add a few chilli flakes, some Italian mixed herbs, and a little bit of paprika, a personal favorite. Right, give it a good swizz about. So while that lot's cooking, I want to get half of the pastry dough out. So I want to get my dough back into a nice ball. Right, a bit of flour on the rolling pin, and off we go. So what I want to try and achieve is a rectangular shape, if possible. Right, after some elbow grease, extra flour and swearing, there's my shape. It's not quite a rectangle, but it's rectangular enough. These are now done, so they can be turned off. Right, I've put these on a plate to cool down in front of an open window. I'm cold crashing my fried veg on tomorrow's uh, porter bottles, actually. And yes, I know that's a clear one. Don't go on me about it. Right, next, tomato puree. Just get some all over there. I'll do. I'm using a bit of this minced ginger and garlic paste. I'm going to put that much on there. I'm going to mix this with the tomato to form a nice base. Imagine if this was a pizza. In fact the other recipe that I commonly do with the grain in flour 
is in fact pizza. Next, mature cheddar cheese. I'm just giving this a nice shape around. Here's my cold crushed fried veg. I want to get this on there now. Just scatter it around. The story so far. Sleeves up. Okay, fingers underneath and push and roll. And try and get it as tight as you can as you roll. Keep working it across. You're going to end up with not a lot of content in the outside bits, but that's fine. But the inside bits will be lovely and fat and full of stuff. So at this point, I've got a big sausage. Right, here's my big chopper. I've got to be very careful not to cut too hard because I don't want to go through the silicon mat. So I'll start on the outside and work my way in. So the first one's a bit rubbish. I'm not bothered about that. But after that, they'll start to take a bit of shape. What we do is we stand them on the side, like so. And it goes onto the baking mat. And again. They get bigger as you get to the middle. And obviously more content. So this is what I'm left with. Then with a bit of milk, just paint the outsides of the pastry just to give it a very minor glaze. Right, oven's on 200. Right, 20 minutes. Let's have a look. Steamy. Right, just let these bad boys cool for a bit. So there we have it. The final product, a plate of brewer's pinwheels, which go down great with a beer. Mm. It's bloody lovely. Cheers, folks.